What's uh, there we go. What's up, my pungios? This is Andy Pauls with Andy Vlogs again. Did you notice uh, I haven't changed my clothes since yesterday because, well, last night was a long night. But I finished the movie. I like how it is. It looks great. I'll have it posted uh, soon. I decided to upload it, but not post it or make it live yet. Um, I want to show my family first because they're all coming. Um, it's kind of cool and nice. We, it's been a while since the whole family has been together. Uh, uh, married, fiancés, wives, husbands and all. And kitty cats. Um, that's why I wanted to make this vlog. Uh, every six months, we have get-togethers at least like this for my family because of one reason. And it has to do with my personal religion and belief. Um, every six months, similar to Catholics in Mass, uh, the LDS Church or the Mormons have a semi-annual general conference where the leaders of the church speak on many topics, uh, whether they're uh, spiritual in nature regarding Jesus Christ and his atonement and resurrection, to uh, the code of health and even strategies for raising children. Um, I wanted to share this vlog today, let you know that I am a proud member of the LDS Church, or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and um, I'm not afraid to talk about it. Uh, as you may have seen in my earlier vlog, I posted about a recent um, trending topic um, regarding the church, more specifically BYU students, because I am a BYU student. Woo! BYU. But anyway... Um, I hope that this vlog can be a instructional and educational, um, avenue or resource for anyone out there who's interested in the church, as well as a forum where we can talk about some things, misconceptions, ideas, or just general uh, questions regarding the church. Uh, the general conference is where, as I mentioned, the, 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 the leaders of the church, more specifically, the members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles and the general authorities, including 70s and other uh, auxiliary leaders like the, the general bishopric presidencies often speak, the Women's Relief Society, which is, a, um, which is a, an organization for women to help with relief and aid and um, membership of the womenhood. There's a presidency that, that speaks. Also, young men and young women. So, like, teenage people, uh, there's people that speak towards them. So, it's really cool. It's a great place to, to learn about Christ, to learn about our gospel, but also learn about how, being, how to be good people, how to stay healthy and be good citizens. Um, I honestly believe that uh, those leaders are called of God, and um, they have been given an interesting charge to help us out. Uh, the difference between our ministry and other ministries is that we do have a council of the and quorum of the twelve apostles. Now, if you're familiar with uh, the Old Testament, no, excuse me, the New New Testament, Jesus Christ, he organized a church, and he called twelve apostles. Um, and interestingly, he gave them authority uh, as members of the LDS Church or the Mormons. We believe that that same authority was restored through Joseph Smith. That's why we talk about Joseph Smith, and that's why um, we tell his story, because he restored what was lost. Now, a lot of people take issue with that. I honestly believe that uh, when John the Revelator, when he was exiled, uh, and after his uh, two or three epistles, um, the authority, he was the last standing authority, authoritative person at that time. You may take issue with that, but um, when I mean authority, I mean uh, the the power and uh, um, ability to act on behalf of God and Jesus. He had that authority, and it was given to him by a specific right. Now, you can't claim this authority on your own. I can't claim it. It has to be given to you by ordination or by a right. Now, um... It was only given to males. It doesn't mean that there's inequality, but it's just something that Jesus did, and he gave it, this authority to worthy uh, men who uh, were honest and true, and that's who we're speaking to us. 
There's also a first presidency and a prophet, the presiding prophet or president of the church, that's Thomas S. Monson. He is the acting prophet. All of the other members of the first presidency and the 12 apostles are prophets as well. Um, but the acting prophet who acts uh, in behalf of Jesus and his authority and speaks for him is Thomas S. Monson. And we heard from him. And it was so exciting because he gave us some modern revelation. Um, he revealed that missionaries can now go out, if you're male, at the age of 18, and women, if you're at the age of 19, which is huge. Now, that's going to be cause some political, or not political, excuse me, logistical adjustments for the Missionary Training Center and for all the different missions, and I'm super excited. Uh, I personally served a mission. I loved it. It was the best time of my life. I was a young 19-year-old in on the streets of, uh, why did I say New York? Taipei in Taiwan. Um, I'll talk about that later. This vlog is already going and extending past the amount of time that I usually do, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to hear more about what these people, these leaders have to say, jump on to LDS.org. It'll be right there on the first page, um, the general conference, and take a listen. They talk about really cool things, and these are truly men inspired of God, and I believe that. And so uh, hit like if you like this video. Uh, hit uh, subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to run any ads on this because I don't want to make money. There's no reason to make money on this. Uh, so uh, let me know if you have any questions regarding the church, uh, any doctrinal, pra practical, whatever. I'm free to and open for anything. Thanks. Thanks for staying tuned. This is Andy Pauls with Andy Vlogs. Take care. Woo!